Hey guys, I am back today in order to teach you guys how to install World of Dragons mod pack um, created by Kreezexel. Hopefully I said that right, Kreezexel. That's what it looks like it is trying to say. Um, it's gaining some popularity right now with uh, 60,000 downloads. So big, big props to the creator. Um, it's a quest based mod pack and obviously it's like dragon based as you can see a lot of big youtubers are playing it as well as the creator himself and actually no i don't know if the creator's playing it or not he could be <laughs> anyways uh we could read the description if you want welcome to the world of dragons adventure in this world there is technology and magic it is your task to subdue the dragons using any combination of technology and magic you so desire to help you in the quest there are special armors that you can craft from the carcasses of the dragons you kill. You may also encounter villages with a questing shopkeeper and a village lord and village lords that have special needs. Each have good rewards should you appease them. Go forth and conquer those dragons. So that's kind of the basis. It's very fun. Um, now, how do you get this? If you can tell, we are using the Twitch desktop app. And many don't actually have this, but it's basically what Twitch is trying to like kind of commercialize. You get to watch all your favorite streamers on Twitch. Everything you can do on the Twitch website, basically. Uh, I don't know about streaming though. Um, then again, uh, being able to watch streamers. Uh, they also have a kind of Discord feature where you basically add friends. You can have uh, calls, but you can also have video calls. So I think that's something very interesting to take into consideration. Uh, my games, I have no idea what that is actually. Mods is what I use for Minecraft and I'll get into that a little bit more later. Anyways, so, um, I am gonna give you guys a link in the description below on how to, a, a link that will send you to the download link. But I'll show you guys how to find it as well. So you'd search Twitch, desktop app and the first result will be app.twitch.tv that is the one you select that and you can go through the website talks about everything twitch uh supporting the streamer voice calls and video calls servers kind of like discord and friends if you didn't have any you can get friends guys come on it's awesome you hit download it's not a zip file so you go through the process pretty simple uh you save it to your desktop taskbar or wherever I have it on my taskbar and then you open it up so from here if you didn't have a twitch account you need to make one uh for this i believe and if you had a curse it might let you like log into that and kind of transfer it over because i this used to be the curse launcher but now the twitch launcher and then you get to go through all these tabs right here so we go to mods and if this isn't highlighted that means you don't have minecraft or you have the you have a fake version or there's some other technical issue that you can comment down below and we'll get to that anyways so I press on this and you see all these pretty mods well there will be none for you uh, the thing is this is all the mods mod packs that you have installed throughout the time of using it so as you can see um, there's different tabs where you go and search mod packs so you can install them so there's browse all mod packs, that's what you want to use. Browse FTB mod packs, that's a little more focus on FTB. Create your own custom profile so you can create your own uh, set of mods together and sets it up for you really easily, kind of like this. And then I turn mine into an actual mod pack so you guys can go actually download that right now. Uh, it's called Wondercraft. Anyways, uh, you go through miles all mod packs. You can either scroll down and find uh, Dra World of Dragons or you can search it. So you can search World of uh, Dragons. This is the only one. You hit install. And basically from there, you press play. I'll show you what it looks like. So it'll be on here, on this page. You press play. It loads up the, your actual Minecraft launcher. And if you're logged in or not, it depends on just the scenario. It'll let you log in. And then it just runs automatically with the right mods, right everything. You just have to press play. Uh, what this does is it basically sets up the right forge for you all the right combinations of mods and when there are some errors 
it'll give you an error meaning like there's a mod that's either outdated or something's wrong with it, like it's missing so you can always go into it tweak it a bit so you can go press the three dot line press uh profile options and so deselect that and basically you can press get more content when you deselect that and you can add mods add custom textures add maps to it as well all right i hope this tutorial was uh useful for you guys if you have any questions again let me know in the comment section below let me know if it was helpful and hopefully you guys subscribe for more of my awesome content all right have a great day you guys see you guys next time bye